Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh my gosh, it has been a long time. I'm wow. Sorry about that, you know. Mike's Daily Podcast. I try to bring you a podcast every day, thus the name Mike's Daily Podcast. But the past couple of days, well, I've had some things going on, done lots of cool things, so I guess that's not wrong, but that's the end of my song. I'm going to tell you, I'll try and be a little bit... Mike's Daily Podcast. More, um, what's the word? Um, often. Mike's Gonna be more often daily with my podcast. Podcast. Gonna do the often thing. Yeah! Often powers. It's F episode... F F F F episode 2706 2706 it's Mike Matthews here at Podcastro Valley at Cafe Anyway the last place on earth that's where we are we are going to have some riotous enjoyment and fine times we missed national cappuccino day national scrapple day what else did we miss um national sunday day that's confusing. That'd be the ice cream. We miss, we miss National Pizza with the Works, except Anchovies Day. <laughs> National French Dip Day. Oh. National World Kindness Day. Actually, it's not National World Kindness. It's just World Kindness Day. Miss that. And I think that's pretty much it. So I have lots to get caught up on. I might even have a call. Somebody actually called me at my number here at Cafe Anyway, the Cafe Anyway hotline, 510-228-4640. That number is also at our website, mikesdailypodcast.com. Yes, and I'm going to tell you what the podcast picture is. I'm fully prepared to tell you what it is because I mapped out everything ahead of time on this program. And here's today's podcast picture. Ooh, I think it'll be a picture from the wonderful holiday Christmas lights parade thingy that was in Podcastro Valley. I remember when the first one started, I think in 2017, possibly. And they opened up the, they did it because um, Podcastro Valley, the Castro Valley Boulevard had all this worked on it, done on it for years. The late great Basil the Boxer and I were there, as a matter of fact. As they were opening this for the first time And they had a festival They called it Meat on the Street back then Not that they threw meat on the street But they wanted people to meet on the street Now it's the lights The light parade And they have a I don't know uh, Hopefully nobody from Disney was there Because they had a float in the parade That looked like the electric light parade From Disneyland you know, I mean, people, you know, people get stuck on stupid, you know what I mean? Pretty much. I don't know how many people from the Bay Area go down to Disneyland. It's quite a drive. I mean, if you're going to go all the way to Anaheim, you might as well book a hotel, book a couple of nights. It's going to cost a lot. Just going to Disneyland one day costs a arm and a leg. So, I guess people have a lot of expendable money. I got through that. I got into it. <laughs> we were talking about in recent podcasts how Gen, Gen Zers... Love the whole experience thing Doing experiences So let's see I have some interesting stories to share with you I did get to And I should post a podcast picture of this uh, On the same day that I saw the Podcaster Valley Parade of Lights thing There was a uh, Oh, we went to the Rosie the Riveter Yes Finally went to there in Richmond And saw it It's free It's not enormously big It'll take you some time If you read every single display But there's there's a lot of interesting stuff there Talks about Just the, the fact that this was One of the first times In history That so many women American women got together And women from outside of the country Coming to America to be uh, Become citizens and this was their way in And they used it to uh, make a life in America A very difficult life Because it was working with all kinds of machinery 
and working on these huge ships. And Kaiser, is it Henry Kaiser was in charge of it all, who would later create Kaiser Permanente. Kaiser Permanente actually refers to his cement making business. He was known for making cement and built the dam out in Las Vegas. Bands mutations. 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 We talked to a guy at the museum. There was a talk. They have a theater. A little theater and this guy was doing a talk and explaining how that very iconic Rosie the Riveter poster was actually hidden in a drawer somewhere and it was used for just a couple of weeks during World War II at some factory somewhere and then when the women's rights movement got so big in the 60s and 70s somebody found that poster and it suddenly attached to that movement and became the iconic poster that it is today this author who was giving the talk also Talked to me and my lovely lady friend afterwards And said how The Kaiser guy, which is ironic, isn't it? His name is Kaiser In World War I, we fought a Kaiser So what the And now here's a Kaiser helping us fight But his last name was Kaiser So he had this uh, cement business Oh, and he was The the author said he was kind of like an Elon Musk Without the baggage this is Mike's Podcast Picnic. Joe, 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 Joe Rilname. Addenda with Kevin. Oh, did you know the SAG after Hollywood strike finally ended? After 118 days, the strike finally ended. Hollywood can get back to work. Studios and union reps reached a tentative agreement. This was about a week ago, meaning the strike Ended at 12.01 Pacific time On Thursday last week And production can start up again within the next few weeks As we go outside a cafe anyway Where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley Anyway The last place on earth As you know there's a real scary holiday coming up We had I've gotten so many interesting emails At Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com MTV News You hear it Eyes are glazing over with Oh, we also went to the Armistice Brewing Company That's also in Richmond That's a very nice place And they have a food truck I think they called it Side Street or Sidewalk Sidewalk Food or something to that effect And lots of Filipino-influenced foods The foods of the Philippines Influencing American food It was really good So we had some of that Now I got this from Rob Black I produce his podcast And he's on the radio In the Bay Area On AM 1220 KDOW In the morning He's also on the television station Kron That's K-R-O-N For all of you Outside of the Bay Area They call it that Because We have a very famous newspaper In San Francisco Called The San Francisco Chronicle And so Kron Is taking the first Word First syllable of that word And putting a K Instead of a CH But the, that's That It took off The name Kron And everybody calls it that And it's big So He's on there Doing money advice But he mentioned this The Tay Bay Quarter At Live Nation Live Nation produced A record quarter Last quarter They are on pace For a record year After hit tours With Taylor Swift and Beyonce. The Ticketmaster owner crushed with 32% sales growth. In one quarter, they had 32%. That's unheard of. The bulk of Live Nation's money comes from producing concerts and selling merchandise. Woo! And they also promote the concerts and are involved with all the operations of the concerts. It raked in $7 billion from the concerts It made $833 million from the ticketing And in 2020, it went really south for them It was really bad Sales plunged 84% Wealth on the world In the year between 2019 to 2020 Because of COVID 
Then in the mid-2021 Live Nation started seeing the effects of pent-up demand for concerts As bookings for 2022 shows soared Now if I was a betting man and an investing man And you know, thought, oh, I would never have predicted that I would have thought people would be too afraid Because people were so afraid during COVID Of going outside of, go, of being with other people Of mingling I thought oh that's That's never gonna go back to normal And I heard people say as much On NPR of all places <laughs> So Take anything they say with a grain of salt And That's I think in England they don't say it with a grain of salt They just say take it with salt <laughs> They don't care about the grain Then The enthusiasm it's still f- fueling the concert industry with that backlog enthusiasm, we'll call it. Letting Live Nation charge higher ticket prices without losing volumes. Live Nation has sold a record 140 million tickets so far this year. Already, they're topping last year's totals. And there's the t shirts for the Eras Tour with Taylor Swift and. The Beyonce hoodies. Kathy's Corner. Da, 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 da. Kathy's Corner. Other tours included Harry Styles, Lizzo, and Bruce Springsteen. Holding court with Lady Katie. Lady Katie. The Royal Trump Tweet Decree. It's the third year of collegiate athletics Where students, athletes Can financially benefit Last year, athletes made About $1.2 billion in deals An increase of about 11% From the year before You will travel into the incredible universe Fabagoo Things to do Things to do Baskin Robbins has introduced A turkey day fixin' ice cream which combines sweet potato and autumn spice. Oh, that wonderful autumn spice. What's in autumn spice? Nutmeg, cinnamon, something else. Cardamom? No. Autumn spice ice cream. So it's sweet potato and autumn spice ice cream bases with honey, cornbread pieces, and swirls of ocean spray cranberry sauce. And Baskin Robbins, their ice cream is so overpriced. Oh, Starbucks. And I heard there was a, another strike going to happen. Red Cup Day. I forget what that is exactly, but there's going to be another strike with the Starbucks union. Even though Starbucks is going to raise pay for workers by 3% next year, they're going to go from 15% to 20... I'm sorry, $15 to $24 per hour next year. Mike is on it, man. man. Go with no man is gone. We oh, love it, backing Mike. up to the... Basketball player The average men's basketball player Well we're talking about college basketball But the average men's basketball player With a collective deal Earns $37,000 That's That seems small to me It seems very small Hmm Although I work in radio So that actually kind of looks big But hey Um, We work Not doing so well with the money either They Filed for bankruptcy They were once Valued at 47 Billion Dollars Outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley Look who's here Hello Mike Matthews It's Jolly Stewart Gift shop supervisor Well Mike Matthews I really would like to get That ice cream That sounds like Autumn fun Mike Matthews It's really delicious Yes it does Are you okay? Yeah Mike Matthews Retainers One of these days You'll get those retainers off And you'll be so happy yeah, I'll actually be kind of sad, Mike Matthews. Sad? Yeah, I'll be sad. Oh. Okay, well, uh, and you've got the snow globes you're selling for autumn? Yeah, instead of snow, it's little bitty leaves swirling around in the autumn snow globe, Mike Matthews. Wouldn't that be a leaf globe? I'm leaving. There she goes. Look who else is here. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floor Man. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Mike, I heard you got a call. Mm -mm -mm -mm. When you are a man, sometimes you wear stretchy pants. And real quick, so 
yours truly trying to find a deal on Amazon. And here's what I found is I wanted to find something because I have so many cassettes of me on the radio from 20, 30, 30, almost 40 years ago. Um, Well, I found this thing on Amazon where it's a cassette player and you stick a USB, USB uh, thumb drive, a USB stick into this little part where you can put one in and you hit play on the tape on the cassette player. And then there's a little record button And it's supposed to record digitally What's on the tape Onto the little USB stick Onto the thumb drive (laughs) And great idea in theory, right? Well, it skips It skips and somebody said Oh, how old's your USB stick? I said, oh, this one's about 10 years old He goes, get a newer one So I got a new one and I put it in It still skips So, oh, such a great idea And I know a lot of you listening have cassettes that you would probably like to transcribe to digital. Put on your computer. But no, apparently they have not perfected this. At least what I was using. And I didn't really see anything else on Amazon that did a similar job that was supposed to do a similar job as this thing. So anyway, cafe, anyway, I'll... See what I can do I'm going to try and play with some other Things that this cassette player can do But it definitely cannot record Consistently In a good way The way I would like it to Which is kind of sad Hey You know what it is It's really sad It is time now for the phone call Let's listen shall we To see what they had to say Oh Let me press I have to do this I forgot to press one other button this magic button over here that puts it into your ears. Here it goes. Hello, boy. Hi, how are you? Oh, I hope you're doing good. This is Bill. I listen to you right here in the fine town of San Leandro. Listen, I wanted to tell you you were talking about anxiety last time. Anxiety is no laughing matter, Mike. You shouldn't make fun of it. You shouldn't even talk about it for all you do. You should just shut up about that, Mike. Whoa. Because on your podcast, you influence a lot of people. Mike, you are an influencer. That's what you are. What? Mike, I gotta go. Nice Scottish accent, by the way. Spanish accent? Hmm. That's right, we had a little help from ChatGBT on the way, on what you're supposed to do if someone calls you and they're having problems with anxiety and they're, they're having a breakdown and they call you. And anyway, that cafe, anyway, that was the last podcast, which was entitled Befuddled, which I certainly was. But if you would like to reach me, here's the number. Call Mike at the Cafe Anyway Hotline. Area code 510-228-4640. And to see the podcast picture and find out how to email me and all that stuff, that's right here with A-Frame. Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikestvpodcast.com. Email Mike now. Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.